Chaos rocked Jubilee Party primaries in Huruma Ward, Wasingishu County, as aspirants disagreed over the voters' role to be used during the exercise. Police officers were forced to intervene to separate warring groups who had disrupted the exercise. The party primaries continued without interruption in London and Hell's Gate wards of Nakuru County. Marianne Yambura now reports on the events that will see the winners contest on a Jubilee ticket in the upcoming by-election set for March. A section of disquiet Jubilee supporters stormed the MV Patel Hall in Huruma Ward was in Gishu County. During the Jubilee party primaries citing irregularities in the process. Grinding operations to a halt and forcing police officers to intervene by lobbing tear gas canisters. Uh, Despite the growing tension, the voting process continued later across other four polling stations. In the end, Lucy Chomba, the wife of the deceased MCA Peter Chomba, won the election. Lucy Chomba garnered 979 votes. At the Milimani Primary School in London Ward, Nakuru West, the party primaries continued with long queues witnessed here. Seven aspirants interested in flying the Jubilee flag during the March by election battle it out. Nipenda kusema kwamba so far, vitu zimekuwa peaceful, lakini laini nasonga pole pole sana. Nime piga kura yangu, nime exercise my democratic right, na nashukuru sana. Process imeenda vizuri, lakini ya subuhi likuwa imeanza vibaya. Kwa sababu kulikuwa na eh, watu kutoka kwa county government walikuwa mekuja ili waweze kufanya voter bribery. The nominations also took place at six polling stations in Hellsgate Ward, Naivasha sub-county. A low turnout was witnessed in some polling stations with the party officials and security officials having an easy time. The residents attribute the low numbers to merging of polling stations without prior notice. The Jubilee party primaries will culminate in the announcement of the party aspirants who will vie for member of county assembly posts in the three wards on a Jubilee ticket during the by-election slated to take place on the 4th of March 2021. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.